Hi, and welcome to Cash and Coins, or welcome back to Cash and Coins. This is my full stack video. Of course, I order silver all the time, so uh, you know it's going to constantly be changing. I actually ordered some today. Well, as I'm narrating this, I'm going to go and let the video go over and show you all my coins, all my silver coins. I also want to put a link up here. In, and in the description of a video that covers a lot of these coins a little more precisely. So, let me begin. Well, I started stacking about two years ago, and I'm using the word stacking as collecting and stacking. I guess I'm kind of a hybrid when it comes to that. I feel I have a nice variety of coins. I don't just stack for weight. That would be too boring for me. I know it's great for some people, but for me... I just need some variety. I really enjoy uh, I really enjoy doing it the way that I do it. I also do it as far as uh, saving or stacking to leave something for my family when I pass away into infinity. You know, everybody can share an old grandpa's uh, old coins. So, well, how did I even get into this? Right. Well, I don't think I've ever told this story, but I did watch a, a video of a guy who's a stacker, flipper, collector. He kind of did it all, uh, and he really enjoyed his channel, but his channel was mainly on gold, and he had over $100,000 in gold. I think he had 200000 and he also had some silver. What I enjoyed about his collection was that he had such a wide variety of coins. No two were alike, well, for the most part. I love that he didn't follow any path. He just bought what he wanted. He didn't really care about spot price and premiums or anything like that. Kind of follows my motto, which is, it's your money. Do what you want with it. Of course, within reason. And I always say I'm not a financial advisor, so don't follow things that I do. But you can just, you can follow my journey. And, well, let me let me continue. As you might see in my last video, I have coins from different places around the world. And my silver stack is quite a bit more varied uh, in countries and territories. I'll attempt to list them in the description. My goal is to have silver and gold coins from every country that ever produced a silver or a gold coin. Of course, I'm probably not going to be able to get them all, but it's my challenge. It's my personal goal. And all of you are welcome and invited to follow me on my journey to collecting all of these gold and silver coins. Well, let me continue. Since I don't stack for weight, I don't have a thousand ounces of silver. Well, not yet at least. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I actually think silver loses its luster to some people. I just saw a video of a stacking stormtrooper said he's getting rid of his silver. I've seen Guido stacking do a few videos where he's uh, getting rid of his, where he's actually sold off all of his silver a few times. Uh, Backyard Bullion, he said he's moving away from silver and going into gold. So many, many of the um, creators out there on YouTube, you know, go from silver to gold. Now, I want to keep my silver just as much I want to keep my gold, but I don't want to stack as much silver. But uh, with that being said, I do have the go-to stacking coins. I have the American Silver Eagle. I have the Silver Maple Leaves, uh, the Perth Mint Silver Kangaroos, uh, the Royal Mints of Britannias. I have those uh, silver coins. Uh, the Philharmonics from Austria, the Silver Philharmonics. Um, and I even have the Chinese pandas and the Mexican uh, libertads in silver. So I do keep those stacking or semi-numismatic coins. But there's so much more out there. There are coins from Europe, South and Central America, Asia, Africa. And uh, believe it or not, you're going to see the king and queen of England on many, many of these coins. But there's so much more to the, the their portrait if you look on the other side, of course, you have nature, you have technology, uh, you have people and countless other things. And also, yes, there are rounds. 
Rounds, now, you know, in case you're new to this, they're not government coins, but uh, privately minted coins. And some of these premiums, uh, some of these have low premiums, some of them have high premiums. So a lot of people use those coins for flipping. Yeah, so if you want to get into that sort of thing, uh, it can be pretty profitable from what I understand. About that also, a different thing that I have started stacking are bars. And that's, I just bought this Atmex silver bar inspired by Silver Game of Thrones. He loves silver bars. Continuing on, what do I like about silver? This is what I like. You can buy a lot of silver. Way more pieces than if you bought gold. Two of my American gold eagles can buy all the silver that I have. Now, if you're a prepper or a saver, people like me see silver is great because it's money recognized around the world now in you know and 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 in past history for for as long as as long as uh, history's been recorded i think they've they talk about silver and gold so if the economy collapses right you still have something valuable you won't need a billion dollar bill to buy a loaf of bread silver gives an opportunity for the average guy to buy precious metals so while my stack may not be a mountain yet it has allowed me to buy so many coins that just look amazing and they will always have value because they're silver so it's something of value that i'm buying you know and that's something that's just going to go to waste so i see a lot of value in silver and gold of course, as you know, I'm way more heavy in gold, but I, I do like the collecting part, especially uh, semi-numismatics and stuff of the, um, on the silver side. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you like the contents, of course, subscribe. And uh, maybe you can leave a comment about how about how you stack. Are you a stacker, collector, purely stacker for weight, pure collector? Uh, I'd like to know. It'd be interesting to know how everyone is doing it out there. All right. Until next time, have a wonderful day.